Well, there's my Berkey filter sitting outside in the sun, drying now. Exactly where I don't need it because I wanted it in my house to give me clean water. All right, here's the deal. We sent a sample of our Berkey water filter water to Car Laboratories. And uh, we found most of the results were pretty acceptable. The uh, aluminum's a little higher than we would have liked. It's uh, probably as a result of the... Uh, I'll tell you what we have in it. We have the ceramic filters, which is a ceramic enclosure, which is supposed to be really, really small, so small that most uh, parasites, bacteria can't get through it. And in the middle of that, it has supposedly, I've never opened one of these up, it has a charcoal filter, which filters out the rest of the stuff and makes it taste a little better. So, and then underneath that, they drain into these fluoride filters, which from what I understand may have a little bit of aluminum in there. They use the aluminum to take the fluoride out. So choose your weapon, whether you want more aluminum or whether you want more fluoride. So there's a little bit higher of uh, aluminum than I like in there, but everything else looks pretty good. Calcium's not bad, but there's no recommended amount of calcium in your water unless it's chewy. Um, there is a little bit of magnesium. Lithium's pretty low. And I was going through the results of potassium's okay. Um, silver's low also, so that's awesome. Strontium's a little high, but I'm not exactly sure how much strontium there should be in my water. Probably none, but, you know, you can't get everything. And, um, but the most disturbing thing I found about my Berkey filter, my big Berkey filter, was that there was a presence of total coliform bacteria. There's no E. coli. It tested negative for E. coli, but there was total coliform bacteria. Now, if you look at the coliform bacteria chart, you can see that E. coli is just one of the forms of coliform bacteria, and coliform bacteria can be naturally occurring from groundwater. It can also come from people's or animals' defecation, different types of uh, poop, as it were, that may have leached into the water somewhere. It can come from other natural sources, too. But what's disturbing is that it was in my Berkey filter as part of my sample. It also flowed through to the zero water sample, too. But I believe we did use Berkey water to filter into the zero water, which we shouldn't have done, but we're going to retest both of those. So, and uh, what's interesting is our tap water, which we poured into the Berkey water, had no traces of coliform bacteria whatsoever. So somewhere in that Berkey filter, we're getting a coliform problem. Is it a problem with type of coliform bacteria? Is it how much of it is there in there? We really don't know. We're going to do some further testing to find out. But my Berkey filter is going to sit outside in the meantime and get a good drying out, a good ultraviolet cleaning. We're also going to scrub it down with soap and pick up a couple of new filters because once the bacteria is in there, I understand it's very difficult to remove without a good uh, uh, chlorine uh, filter or chlorine washing. The same stuff they're using for Ebola. Yuck. So we'll keep you posted. Please like and subscribe. We'll keep you posted on these water findings. It's a great science fair project. I'm so glad we did it. My son's really glad we did it too. And again, we'll keep you posted on our followings. Chuck Fresh for Zangawater.com. Well, there's my